Oh, YouTube, Tutti back. Uh, as you can see, we're back with a NES Mini again. Uh, and there is a new version, 2.11. Uh, now, this is going to blow the NES Mini to smithereens. It basically allows for full ROM sets. So, your full US, your Japanese, your UK, uh, and I think Australia uh, exclusive. You can fit them all on there. 600, 700 plus games. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty hardcore. So this is just a very, yeah, again, one of my sort of more guerrilla style videos. Uh, I have tried to do just screen capture, so hopefully some people might appreciate that a little bit more. Um, yeah, just talking over over it. Uh, uh, so one of the main points as well, I, got, I was getting asked quite a lot was how to work with the Mac. So as you can see here, uh, this man here, this is a man cluster. Uh, please go and visit this website, uh, this forum rather. Uh, drop this man some uh, some pennies into his pot. He does it say that within uh, Hatchy as well. Uh, uh, obviously, you know, donate if if, if you see fit. Uh, but essentially, what he's done is as well for the Mac. It does work with Wine. Uh, I'm not familiar with Mac, so I don't know. I couldn't comment. Uh, I'm guessing those that use Macs that will mean something to you. So yeah, uh, I've, I, I, this has been out I think since yesterday. Uh, I did look at it last night after work. I was very tired. I made some very daft mistake so I'll go over them so hopefully you guys won't know, make those mistakes and uh, yeah we'll just step through it essentially so, so there's the link um, to obviously download Hatchy 2 dead simple you all know to download uh, files what I've done uh, pretty similar to, to you know uh, what I did last time is I've created a separate folder on my desktop called NES Mini Hack 2 just to keep it simple uh, I'll come to these in a minute um, but essentially you download the new version 2.11 and I've got it here as you can see date is the 26th, it's now the 27th today uh, so we double click Hatchy 2 you get the next screen right we want to extract that and I want to extract it to my Hatchy 2, NES Mini Hack 2 folder because I'm just going to keep it all separate it just makes it a lot easier to understand and away it goes so we can get rid of that now we can minimize that NES Mini Hack 2 we have got Hatchy 2 there now as you can see so we double click that gives us this window I say previous videos go and check them out you know talks all, all you need to know about Hatchy etc so there we go obviously like I say if pay, PayPal in the about box if you want to send in some pennies so at this point now we're at 2.11 as you can see up the top here uh, we just need to add some games so we've got the original 30 so technically you can take them off we don't really need them because uh, I say you, you can you, we, we can add in all of the uh, all, of, all of the ROM sets uh, but let's add more games so a point which I didn't realise again. Like I say, I was I was a bit naive, um, <laughs> a bit daft, realistically. The ROM set that I was using previously, which is down here, which was from Goodnes, um, because Hatchy, let's cancel that a minute. Hatchy 2.11 now supports zip files. Okay, so you can actually use .zip files. So the idea being is you add more games and you add the zip files in, you know, less space, etc. Um, so with the set that I had from here, and I'll use Ten Yard Fight as an example. So Ten Yard Fight there, it's a zip file, you know, 19k, not very big, but within it there are multiple revisions. Now it's those revisions that did me a disservice basically, and I, and I completely dropped a clanger because what. Uh, it does it off. even though Hatchy sees it as one file 10 yard fight it obviously it imports all of those revisions and some <clears throat> some games have multiple more even more revisions than that so it was just too many files essentially so don't do that don't do what I did don't be an idiot um, one of the guys on the forums uh, on here it pointed me to a very nice set uh, that you have to go and obviously source yourself but I can show you the name uh, which you've probably seen a minute ago. Uh, but essentially, it's this Asylum's NES ROM set 2014. We'll just look quick, quickly look at it. So what you've got is Australian, 
European, Japanese, and you can, you can see it all there. It's all fairly straightforward. Game titles A to Z, well, hash to Z, that's the Americans. So, you know, obviously he deems that the American set doesn't need to be called the American set because it is the only set. Um, but, yeah, if we go into that, we look at 10-yard fight, you can see there is only one, there's only one ROM, which is what you want. Okay, so if you do a search for that, put torrent at the end, I'm sure you can locate it. It's not rocket science, guys. So let's go back into Hatchy. Let's add more games. So what we're looking for, again, like I say, we want to just add in the US ones. So... And what we do here, uh, it's a nice feature. You click it there, you hold the shift key down on your keyboard, go all the way to the bottom, and you click that one. And then we do open. So it'll give you some errors, because obviously don't forget, those ROM sets aren't perfect. So th there may be the odd one you might be missing, so you may have to source that. Um, click OK past that. Any of these ones, I would probably say no to at the minute. Uh, some of the mappers have been fixed, not all. So all we do, we go through, anyone that come up like that. Also, what Cluster has done is put in uh, patch files for known games. So you might as well add them in. So dead simple, invalid NES, you're okay. There's nothing you can do with that anyway. Anyone that says you want to patch it, anyone that says you want to add in one that doesn't support, I would probably just say no, because you're just adding in trash at the minute for no reason. So that's going to run across um, for as long as it takes. Um... speed this bit up I think And there we go. So it's now added all of those games in, as you can see. 687. Um, another nice feature, a couple of nice features within this now. Within the settings, uh, maximum games per page. The default's 30, so you see 30, 30 games per page. You can increase that, because don't forget we've got 697 there. That's, that's, that's quite a lot. Um, I'll probably stick about 50. I think 50 is enough uh, without it getting too much. Um, uh, but again, I'll, t I'll talk about what it looks like uh, when we get there. Uh, again, looking through these, you can change to a Famicom Mini or NES Mini. There's other, other bits. There's controller hatch, which is quite nice. You can enable auto fire. Up A, B, and start on the second controller. Because for the obviously yeah, the Famicom doesn't have a start button. Player two, reset, select reset button combination. You can change that. Set it to how you want. So at the minute, it's down. Select A and B. Um, takes you back to different games. Um, what else was I going to talk about? There's some else I was going to mention up here. Uh, oh, that's it. The GUI hacks. So you can actually disable the menu music if you want. <clears throat> and the thumbnails are what scrolls across the bottom. So you can remove them as well if, 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 if you want to. I don't really mind the music, to be honest, too much. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, but up into file, download covers for all games. So what this will do now, this will go away. It will trawl Google using a thing like, you know, um, I feel lucky. And it will try and obviously propagate each of these to a cover. So we'll do that. We'll leave it running. There's not a great deal we can do here at this point other than just leave it running. So guys, that's all done now. Um, you get the screen come up, wow, done, okay. And uh, yeah, you'll end up with box art for the majority of, the, um, majority of the games. Some you'll be missing, <clears throat> some won't be right. Um, obviously you can Google them separately, or if you've got your own box art, or you've, you know, you've scanned in your own, you can browse to the actual file and add it in. Um, you know, there's even Game Genie codes there, look. So you can put, it obviously runs with Game Genie codes, just across here.
but yeah, the, you know, the bulk of the games are all there <clears throat> with, you know, matching artwork, etc. So now the sort of, I mean, that, that took long enough as it is. Uh, the real sort of chunk of uh, time now is going to be taken to obviously synchronising these, these games over. So the synchronisation is exactly the same as before, you know, as it always has been. You click synchronise games, go away, think about it. Now, because obviously I've put this into a new folder, it wants to uh, obviously dump the kernel from the NES Mini onto the device. So again, you've all seen that in the previous video. There's, there's nothing different about that. Um, again, same, exactly the same steps. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that now, and I'll, I'll come back. Yeah. So it's obviously um, dumping the kernel now, as you speak. This may give a weird error message because don't forget, mine isn't a uh, vanilla. Um, NES Mini. Mine's actually already got the additional uh, kernel with all the folders on it, so it, it may give a, 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 a message to sort of say error checksums or something, but it doesn't matter. It, it's not important from my end. Um, but you guys maybe do it for the first time. You know, it should go through clean. There you go. Look, right, because it doesn't know. It said it's already been patched, so it doesn't recognise it, which is correct. So we say yes. Right, we know that. Okay. We want to continue. So now it's building the kernel. Um, now what will happen here is you'll have to do um, the flashing, I think, for the set. I think it's about five or six times. So don't be too disheartened if it says that there's, there's too many ROM files. It, it just it can't upload them all in one and go. You have to do it in chunks. Um, and it, it's, it, it can take a while. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, so we'll just give this a minute, we'll let this uh, trudge through. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe uh, to to UK. Uh, you can see me in the background there on the channel. We'll just hop across to it. Um, obviously you're watching this channel anyway, but there's, you know, I do do other videos. I'm a big game collector, uh, really. Um, this is just some as an aside, you know, that I picked up. Uh, I do work in IT, so I've got, a, you know, a little bit of... Um, uh, technical know-how nothing um, to rival you know people like um, cluster who's obviously developed this and, and wrote this software I'm not a programmer or anything like that um, but yeah so like I say my, my main thing with the YouTube is, is just collecting games done you can upload your games and there's me now press OK I do apologize for that sound because builders next door so this is building a custom kernel I'll just show you one um, iteration of having to uh, reflash it because there's no point in, in uh, showing you multiples because you just do the same thing again which is hold it hold the reset and press the power and let it um, obviously upload the game it just has to do it in in chunks just keep going until it says complete can see uh, there are too many ROMs to transfer all them at once please wait until the power LED goes out and press OK to follow instructions so we wait for the power LED to go out it's gone out so we click OK so as you can see in the screen now it's basically saying to us make sure the power button there's me switched off so what we have to do is switch the power button off again and we're just repeating exactly the same um, set of instructions which is hold reset Hold reset in, press the power, wait for it to detect it again, and then it will carry on. So you see it's carry on. Basically, you're just going to do that as many times as it takes till it sort of says done. Um, obviously, the more ROMs you've got on there, the more times you have to do it. Uh, currently at 687, you're probably looking, i say, about five or six times. So I'm not going to sit here and do this five or six times. There's no point uh, in doing this. So we'll skip ahead until such point as it's finished. So as you can see guys, come to the end now. Um, it just took a while. Probably, you know, half, 20 minutes-ish. So that says about five, five or so times uh, for it to fully upload all of those games. Obviously the more you add, the longer it takes. But yeah, just stick with it. It's keep rinse and repeat that same process just until 
you get this screen which is coming up now hopefully and it should complete all things being equal and done there we go wait until the power LED goes out and restart your NES Mini so same procedure it's gone out job done so all we do now is uh, obviously I can't screen capture from the NES Mini I'll have to point the camera at the screen and uh, we'll have a look see what it looks like hey guys so as you can see this is the screen you get quite bland <laughs> a lot of folders um, so essentially what it's done is it's grouped them all uh, alphabetically so as you can see it's 10 yard fight dash Barker Bill so that's like hash to bees so if you press a it will take you into that subfolder so it's probably like the best way to describe it, it's probably like a NES Mini within a NES Mini each folder but as you can see across the bottom here's my finger you've got all your um, all your thumbnails and you've got you know the majority of all of the um, box art so that arrow there will take you back to the sort of A to Z folder list uh, like I say this runs from A's to B's I think it said didn't it um, so yeah you can, they're all in there all right so if we go back it jumps us back up to the, the sort of uh, uh, directory it's probably the best word for it okay, gosh, and this goes from B's to C's and you press A and you jump into this subcategory and again you run through it yeah, and it's all fairly obvious. Yeah, you, know, you could probably identify a few that probably need uh, better box art. Base loaded three, there you go. But the majority seem to be there and correct and okay. But we'll bobble a couple of. Oh, that's probably because of the 30 games, so it's duplicated that. Um, but yeah, you know, they're all there. Let's just put Batman on just for. Just to show you they are working and not just thumbnails, not doing anything. Yeah. No, all working. So, you know, for me, it's it's good to have them all on there. Does it look as nice as just having, you know, the sort of thirty odd games or so? I don't know actually. I probably it might be too much, and I think it might it kind of. It spoils the NES Mini a little bit, I think, um, if I'm honest. But as a as a means, you know, to sort of have all the have all your games or all the all the games in one place, it's pretty bloody neat. You got to admit. So trust me to pick a game that. Uh... <laughs> Come on, that can't skip through the bloody menus. This is a long intro, let's see if we can get back out. Yeah, so if you do down select A and B, it drops you back out to the menu. And yeah, you can put stuff in the safe slots, look. Yeah. Let's try and get something that bloody works. So, iconic Blaster Master, you all know this one. Absolutely outstanding uh, audio. Yeah, so I mean, for, I have—I mean, I do have an Elgato capture card, but I just thought uh, it'd just be easier uh, to point the screen, uh, point the camera at the screen. Yeah, so you all know Blaster Master. Yeah, it's all there. Oh, it's all working. Again, you press down, select A and B, and it drops you back out to the menu. Push down, you put them into the save slots. Um, I think. As long as you keep all of these in separate folders, you can have multiple save slots for each one, so you should be fine. Uh, you know, you've got Bookie O'Ha there. And again, we go back. And it just, you know, all the way up to W's to Z's. We'll just drop into W to Z to just give you an idea. There you go. Urban Chat, Wrecking Crew, Wrestling. You can see it all. Devious. So yeah, you can now have all the NES library on the Famicom Mini. So you can add in the exclusives, uh, you know, for for each region as you see fit. 
or you can tailor it back you know there's probably a lot on here that you you wouldn't want and it just clutters it all up you know probably like some of the baseball games and and whatnot or america football games you know you might not want them so you can you know it, it just expands that ability but i think there's that always that worry not that worry uh, there's always that pull that you can just put everything on there so you do um yeah like i say don't be like me and be an idiot and try and uh put zip files with multiple roms in it because they won't work but yeah so there we go guys i'm not gonna um stay too long showing you games because you can all do this yourselves but please go and check out uh, the gba temp uh, forum website uh, links will be in the description and uh, yeah uh, sub if you haven't subbed because there may be more you know Oh, it's the point when you reset a game. I haven't reset it. <laughs> I've just hacked out, dropped, dropped out of it. Yes, yeah, so if you do, re if you do go back out and do that, it won't allow you to save it. Um, but yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You know, because there may be other videos that might interest you. I say I'm a big collector. I have got a, a large NES uh, physical collection. Anyway, uh, among other uh, collections, full set uh, Master System, near enough a uh, full set GameCube, nearly a full uh, full set um, N64. But yeah, so. Like, comment, subscribe and all that uh, jazz. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. Take it easy. Bye-bye.